hello everyone so today we are going to see how to build ASK using lab view and subsequently we will also try to see how to do ESK and FSK here the ASK block diagram is the base block diagram we can do slight changes on this block diagram and get our PSK and FSK so first I will try to show you how to build ASK we all know that these three modulation techniques are <clears throat> basically digital modulation techniques where your input message will be in the form of ones and zeros so these ones and zeros we will give in the lab view so it is up to us what type of pattern you want to give so you can do that in lab view so you will be give, giving user defined pattern and for this user defined pattern of ones and zeros you will try to perform this ASK, FSK and PSK so let me show you how to build this ASK block diagram so right click go to RF communication modulation then digital so the first thing you require is to create this ones and zeros for that you need to select this empty generate bits place it on the block diagram window then you need to click on this PN order to select user defined once this is done you need to give two inputs one is total bits and the other one is user base bit pattern so right click on total bits create control so you can see subsequently we got the button in front panel then the next thing you need to give is user base bit pattern right click create control so these are the two things that we give as part of input for this user defined block so after placing this user base bit pattern you can see that I got a user base bit pattern in the front panel so with the help of this particular uh, buttons we can give our own pattern of ones and zeros so as as per this particular experiment I am giving only four bits so you need to double click on this give your value it may be 1 or it may be 0 so the remaining you can close okay so whenever you scroll your mouse on this user base bit pattern you can see that there are two types of uh, blue color dots that appear so this basically helps us or this bigger blue dots basically help us in controlling the number of bits that should be visible okay if you click on that particular blue button or blue color dot and you expand or you scroll to the right side you can see the remaining bits but for our case I'm only using four bits so I'm only displaying the four bits whenever you scroll mouse on the same thing you can see that there are smaller blue dots so when you click on that you can expand or you can decrease this visibility okay so please be careful with this so I had placed two things one is total bits and the other one is user base bit pattern so and the bit pattern that I am giving is 0110 so the next important block that comes is to perform this ASK you require this ASK blocks from the same RF communication folder okay go to RF communication modulation then digital then since you are uh, first doing modulation so you go to this modulation folder then in this you need to select this ASK empty modulate ASK click on that place it okay then the next block that you require is to up convert the signal so go to digital and then modulation there is empty up convert baseband okay second row last one okay empty up convert baseband you click on that you place it so these uh, two blocks are basically used for this uh, modulation purpose so for the demodulation you need to have the counter blocks so right click 
go to rf communication modulation digital then demodulation folder so there are two folders one is a modulation another one is demodulation so you go to demodulation folder select empty demodulate ask similarly you also require a down converter because you had done up conversion in the modulation side you go to the demodulation folder empty down convert passback okay so these are the five blocks that are pretty important to build any modulation technique in digital world one is ask fsk or psk along with this you also require two more blocks go to rf communication so the first block is this empty generate system parameters so this basically helps us in generating the required parameters for this particular ask block diagram since we are doing ask you just click on this and select ask m okay then right click rf communication modulation digital then go to utilities and select this empty generate filter coefficients so this is also pretty important for giving parameters to both modulation section and also for demodulation section so these are the important blocks that are required and these are the important blocks that are basically required to build the ask block diagram the next thing we need to do is we need to interconnect these blocks so that you can finally get your ask signal so output bit stream will be connected to input bit stream of ask then the other parameters that are required are what should be the symbol rate so if you scroll on this particular ask block you can see that it is asking for ask system parameters symbol rate then pulse shaping filter coefficients okay so this ask system parameters will be coming from this particular uh, this block that is ask system parameters so let me connect that so before that what you need to do is you need to select what type of ask you want to build so whether you want to build bsk that is binary ask or you want to build higher ask modes so as of now we are building only bask that is binary ask so you can see that by default it is 2 so don't change anything on this just right click on samples per symbol create control so by default it will be 16 you need to change this to 64 so that you have better visibility when you build this final ask blocks so that's all this ask system parameters will be given as a input to the this one so there is no need of uh, remembering all these things when you are you scroll on this particular block you can see that the output is ask system parameters similarly whenever you scroll on this block you can see that the input is ask system parameters so these two you need to join okay so we had connected the input bit stream we had also connected the ask system parameters the next thing you need to connect is this pulse shaping filter coefficients that you will be obtaining from this particular block that is on the bottom of your screen for this first you need to give the inputs so the important inputs are what type of modulation you are going to do modulation type right click create control so you can see that whenever i place this modulation type a subsequent button has appeared in the front panel which are, which is saying fsk but in our case we are doing PS, uh, ask so you just click on that you can see there are different types of modulation techniques you need to select ask then the next parameter you need to give is pulse shaping samples per symbol right click create control again you need to set this as 64 then the next one is matched samples per symbol right click again create control again set this for 64 so these are the default values that we will be using so once these three values are given 
the output of this which is pulse shaping filter coefficient that you need to give it as a input for this pulse shaping filter coefficient okay i hope everybody understood this then you just need to connect the output of this block that is output complex waveform to baseband waveform then whenever you scroll on this button you can see carrier frequency is required so you just right click create control so this carrier frequency you can give whatever the value you want so i had given 5 hertz as the carrier frequency then the output of this block will be going as a input for this then whenever you scroll on this you can see there are different types of uh, inputs that it required so one of that input is carrier frequency you just click on that and you give the same carrier frequency because at the modulation side and at the demodulation side you need to have the same carrier frequency along with this you can also give passband bandwidth create control okay then fine so these are the things you require then directly connect this down converted waveform to this input complex waveform then you can see one more thing you require is ask system parameters that should be connected here then matched filter coefficients so these also require matched filter coefficients so whenever you scroll on the this particular filter block you can see one output is matched filter coefficients and one output is pulse shaping filter coefficients so you just need to connect this matched filter coefficients to this input matched filter coefficients that's all that's it so this builds your ask so the next important thing you need to have is to visualize what will be the output so you just scroll on the output side of this ask you can see different types of things that appear one such thing is output bit stream so you just right click on that output bit stream create indicator so why you require indicator because we just want to display the output for displaying you just require indicator so that's why i had taken indicator then along with this if at all you want to visualize it in the form of graph what you can do is you first place the graph in the front panel right click go to this graph section waveform uh, waveform graph then once you place this you can directly connect this to this output bit stream so this way you can see the output so let me rename this by saying it as output or demodulated okay so since to understand whether my demodulation is proper or not you also need to display the message for that you can right click or you place the graph here okay and then you connect this here the reason why i am connecting it here is this is my input data so that is the reason i am connecting it here. you can rename this as message so along with this i also want to display ask so you all you can also display this ask by placing this similar type of graph so the graph you need to place first you place that particular graph block here waveform graph then you can connect it here so why i am connecting it here because this block uh, basically converts it into ask and after that you are up converting it so your final output will be coming after this up conversion so that is the reason i am placing a graph here so you can rename this by with the name ask 
So I hope you understood what are the three different types of waveforms that we require to display the message signal ASK and demodulated signal. Okay. So pass band, uh, you can by default give it as one hertz. Okay. So I hope everybody understood how to build this uh, ASK. So it is pretty easy. There are around seven blocks you require. The first one is user defined uh, bit pattern. Then this ASK block, then up converter block, down convert and demodulate. So for proper working of this, you require two more blocks. One is system parameters, ASK system parameters. And the other one is filter coefficient part or filter coefficient block. So I hope everybody understood these connections. The, I think these are pretty straightforward. So let me run. So, so you can see there are no errors. So for better visualization, what you can do is I will try to zoom this waveform. Let me take only five. Similarly, I'm taking five here and also So if you closely observe, uh, this doesn't appear like a pulse. Okay. So to get this pulse type of waveform, what you can do is you just right click, go to properties, go to plots and select the fourth one. So as of now, the third one is selected because of which you are seeing this triangular shape. Select this fourth one and press OK. Now you can see it is appearing like a pulse. Similarly, you can also do this here. Right click, go to properties, plot, select the fourth one, press OK. So the first thing you need to do after getting the output is you need to check whether your waveform is similar to that of your input bit stream you had given. So what is the input bit stream you had given? 0, 1, 1, 0. You can see that from 0 to 1, it is 0. Again from 1 to 2, it is 1, 2 to 3, it is 1, and 3 to 4, it is 0. So you need to only focus on the first 4 bits because you had given only the 4 bits as input. Similarly, you need to check whether the ASK is proper or not. So for 0, you are getting no signal. And whenever there is 1, you are getting your carrier. And again, whenever there is 0, you are getting no signal. So you can see that you are getting this 0 and then carrier and then zero similar to that of your input so there will be slight uh, deviation in the values or you can say there will be some slight delay in the starting point so you please neglect that and you see whether you are getting this pattern of zero carrier and then zero then the final one you need to get back your original information after demodulation you can see that you are getting same as that of your input bit pattern that is 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. I hope everybody understood how to build this ASK. So let us use this ASK to build PSK. So we can just or we, we just need to change some few blocks of this ASK so that you can build this PSK. So the first or the first blocks that you need to change is this ASK at the modulation side and this ASK block at the demodulation side. Okay. And the next blocks you need to change is this. Since you are doing PSK, you just need to select this and you go to PSK select M. Okay. So whenever you choose this PSK, you can see that there is a cross symbol that is coming. This is because these ASK blocks are not compatible for PSK. What you need to do, you just replace these ASK blocks, delete, and you place PSK blocks there. RF communication, modulation, digital, PSK. Okay, then at the demodulation side, 
you need to go to demodulation PSK okay now you start connecting the things See how simple this is. Once you understand ASK, the remaining things are pretty easy. That's it, done. So you just need to cross check. Uh, whether the things are proper uh, we had given PSK blocks then PSK system parameters has been given yeah that should work so in the front panel also you need to just change this ASK to PSK and remaining all things you need to or you can keep as same just from this Again, I will be focusing on the first few bits only. Okay. fine so for PSK you also need to give few more things so let me do that quickly this should be 2 because we are doing BPSK so that is the reason there is a slight change and let me run this For better understanding what I do, let me take it as 2. So you will be only co concentrating on 2 bits that is 0 and 1. Okay. See, the message is 0, 1 and your output demodulated signal is also 0, 1. Okay. So that is the first important thing you need to note down. The next thing is whenever there is a change uh, from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 there will be a subsequent change in your PSK. So let me re rewrite this. Okay. Okay. So whenever there is a change in your input, there will be a subsequent change. So with that change, you can see that there is a phase shift here. So there is a phase shift at uh, 0 0.5 and, the, and also there is a phase shift at 2.5. Okay. So as I said, there will be a slight change. So don't worry about that. So let me show. Okay, so at 1 there is a change. So as I said, because of some delay or some delay issues, so what you can see is this 1 uh, is appearing at 0 0.5 here. So at from uh, 0 to 1, you will be having a phase change. So you can see at 0 0.5 there is a phase change. And after this, you are having a phase change at 3. 
okay so there is a gap of 2 from 1 to 3 there is a gap of 2 so similarly you can see that from 0.5 to 2.5 there is a gap of 2 and at 2.5 there is again a change so what you need to note down here is wherever there is a change in the input you can see that there is a uh, phase difference or there is some 180 degrees phase shift that appears in the output or modulated signal so that is what you need to observe so if you cl uh, closely observe this you can see there is 180 degrees phase shift what does 180 degrees phase shift means so if at all you had generated cos as carrier with 180 degrees phase shift you will get minus cos okay that is what is happening here okay i hope you understood how we got this psk so there are only few changes that i had done when compared to ask so the first change is you had replaced this block at the modulation side and also this block at the demodulation side then the next important thing is you had changed this to psk because since we are performing psk you set this as psk and then m then by default you will be having four psk so which is not the thing we require so what we had done you had just given or you had given a input mpsk and you had changed that value in the front panel by default this will be in 4 so you had just changed it to 2 so we require bpsk so that's why we had changed it to 2 ok 2 means 0 or 1 binary so that is the reason we are giving it as 2 and if you observe once I had properly given all these things the input bit pattern which is 0 1 1 0 and the output bit pattern is same that means your particular block diagram is working properly so I hope you also got how to perform FSK so let me show you quickly you just need to replace these PSK blocks with FSK right click RF communication modulation digital then go to modulation select FSK so this will be coming here. for demodulation RF communication modulation digital then go to demodulation select this FSK now you just need to connect these properly input bit stream FSK parameters pulse shaping filter coefficients then the output complex waveform okay. similarly you need to do here So by default this FSK is BFSK so no issue so you can avoid giving any inputs then frequency dv okay FSK deviation you need to give so that is the extra thing you need to give along with this yeah that's For our case what I am doing is I am just giving 1.5 as the frequency for FSK deviation. So I had changed all the things except this. Okay. So if you closely observe uh, it also says along with this matched filter coefficients there is also a wish, uh, issue with this pulse shaping filter coefficients. So if you scroll on this you can see there is an input that it requires which says pulse shaping filter coefficients you just click on that and give it here then you run see now this uh, there is no error and this has run properly you can also see the user bit pattern that is the input side and the output bit pattern are same 
so just change these things to observe what you are getting see you can clearly see that the input and outputs are same 0110 and this is also 0110 and you can see that with some slight uh, delay whenever there is once see whenever there is once the frequency is high since you are doing this fsk frequency shift key whenever uh, your input or message is having higher amplitude you will get higher frequency so the same thing is replicated here so whenever you are having once at the input you will have higher frequency at the output or modulated higher frequency modulated signal and whenever you are having zeros you will get your carrier as it is or you will get lower frequencies so for higher amplitudes higher frequency and for lower amplitudes lower frequency so the same thing you can see it here okay so i hope everybody understood how to perform this ask pask and fsk so there are only some few changes that you need to do in the block diagram once you understand how to build this ask you can easily build the psk and fsk with some slight changes so in psk you need to change this mpsk to 2 and these ask blocks should be replaced with psk blocks when coming to FSK, so there are some more details you need to add along with changing this ASK blocks. So you need to give FSK blocks and also you need to give this FSK deviation, which in our case I had given it as 1.5. And at the demodulation side, you also need to give pulse shaping filter coefficients. So that is also one extra thing you need to do. So if at all you are not giving any of these things that is matched filter coefficients or pulse shaping filter coefficients, you will get an error. So to avoid any error, you first check what are the types of inputs the blocks will take and you give the proper inputs. Okay. And I hope everybody understood how to interpret the output waveforms. Okay.